Hi guys, I'm going to go through Friday's fractions problems now. Make sure you're marking with a different coloured pen and hopefully you'll follow along and see how I've worked out the questions and you'll have done the same, hopefully. Uh, the question today was going back to Millennial Tech and their tech software hardware company. They're going to expand into a new part of the business uh, and they think they could make £1,240 worth of um, profit based on another company. Um, with their business though, they think that in the first year they could make three quarters of that and in the second year they could make two fifths of that. Um, so it says how much do you think they'll make in two years? So we need to do um, three quarters of this and two fifths of this and add them together. So to work out what three quarters of this is, I need to do 1,240 divided by four times by three. So 1,240 divided by four is zero, carry the one, three, one, zero, 310. And I'm gonna times it by three. 310 times three is zero, three. I can't believe I actually just did that. Oh, what am I doing? Sorry guys. Just waffling onto myself, just ignore me. Uh, three times one is three, three times three is nine. So they think in the first year, they could make 930 pounds, 930 pounds. And then I need to do the same for two fifths. Let me have a little look. Two fifths, so if you look at what two fifths of a number is, I need to divide by the denominator and times by the numerator. So, here we go, divided by five. Five doesn't go into one, so let's carry that. Uh, 12 has two fives, and I'll carry the two. Into 24, we've got four fives, carry the four. Into 40, we've got eight fives. Uh, 248 times two, I'm just gonna double it. Um, 16, two, four, nine, nine. Two times two is four, perfect. So that's how much they. Oops, what am I doing? That's how much they think they will make in the second year. Not very much. I don't know if it's worth them expanding. To be honest, guys. Um, and then I need to add them both together: the first year and the second year. So zero add six is six. Three add nine is twelve. Carry the one. Nine add one is ten. Add four is fourteen. So they think they will make one thousand four hundred and twenty-six. In uh, pounds in two years. Not a lot of money in two years, that guy. It's not going to buy them very much. I don't think it's worth expanding. But hopefully, you did that working out. But yeah, the question says, do you think they'll have made as much profit? So, uh, oh, I can't remember what the answer was now. Did they make more or less than the other company? But actually, I don't think it's worth them expanding anyway. You've got to make that money, guys. Right, they've ordered some new drones. The delivery driver needs to write the weight on the boxes. The drones are two thirds of a kilogram each, and there's four in a box, plus the box weighs eight tenths of a kilogram. So we need to work out how much each box weighs. So we talked on Zoom before about two thirds times four. We need to turn four into a fraction. Four whole ones is the same as four ones. And then we can just time straight through. Times in fractions is really easy. Two times four is eight. Three times one is three. So that's this part done. And then I need to add on my eight tenths. I can't add these because we have different denominators. So I'm gonna find the lowest common denominator, which is going to be 30. So uh, three into 30 is times 10, so 8 times 10 is 80, and then 8 tenths into 30, 10 into 30 is times 3, 8 times 3 is 24, and I can add these together now, 80 add 24, I'm going to put it over here, so I'm running out of space, 80 add 24 is 104 thirtieths, oh a horrible horrible fraction, can you simplify this fraction, yes you definitely can, I'm not going to simplify it for you, I want you to do it for me. That was the answer to question two. Question three, let me scroll down. It says, oh, there's a little fly near me. 
Uh, it says, oh, they're going to have a party to celebrate their two years in business. They think 120 guests are going to come and each person will eat one and one sixth of a pizza and one and one half bottles of juice. What a great party. Who eats over one pizza at a party? I don't know. So we need to work out how much they need to order. So 120 times this pizza fraction and 120 times this bottle fraction. This one's easy. I'm going to do this one first. You know, 120 times the whole one first. 120 times one equals 120. And then 120 times a half is the same as half of 120. So I know that half of 120 is 60. So 120 add 60 is 180. That's how many pizzas they need. Uh, and then I'm going to go for this one. I need to times by the whole number. 120 times 1 equals 120. And then I need to do 120 times 1 sixth. To do that, I do 120. I'm going to time, uh, sorry, what am I going to do? I'm going to do 1 sixth of 120. Um, so I'm going to divide by the denominator. 120 divided by 6 equals 20. I would times by the numerator as well, but the numerator is 1, so I can leave it as 20. 20 times 1 equals 20. So my 20 needs to go up here. Uh, 20. 120 at 20 equals 140. Sorry, this is how many drinks they need, and this is how many pizzas they needed. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. Last one. Make sure you're marking a different colour. You've got more space than me as well. Hopefully your um, spacing is better than mine. So they want to put some banners up. They've got a window that's three and four fifths of a metre. They've got one that's two and three fifths of a metre. And they've got one that's four and two thirds of a metre. It's really strange seeing measurements in fractions because usually measurements we would use decimals. We rarely, and the um, one that we had before the kilograms, we would normally use decimals for that. But hey ho, this person's gone rogue. They want to know how much banner to order all together. We can't compare these. We can't add them because we've got fifths, fifths and thirds. Um, so we need to convert. Also, we've got mixed numbers. I'm going to add my holes first, and then I'm going to look at my fractions. So 3 add 2 is 5, add 4 is 9 metres. That's my holes done. And then 4 fifths, 3 fifths, and 2 thirds. I'm going to find the lowest common denominator, which is 15. I know that because 5 times 3 is 15. That's my easiest one that I'm going to go to. Uh, so 4 Fifths into fifteenths is times three, so four times three is twelve. Uh, add three fifths, which is times three times three again. Three times three is nine, and then three thirds into fifteenths is times five. Two times five is ten. I can now add these fractions. Twelve add ten is twenty-two plus nine is thirty-one. This is an improper fraction, 13 fifteenths uh, uh, metre. Uh, we're going to put this over here with this, we need to add this together, but also this is an improper fraction, so I would take out the 15 parts out of here, I can see I can take two holes out of here, and I'll be left with 2 and 1 fifteenth, 15. So we're going to put that 2 with my 9 over here, 9 add 2 metres, Add 1 15th equals 11 metres and 1 15th of a metre. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm sorry I'm not there with you to talk through it in more detail. If you've got any questions, um, just drop me a message on the Padlet. But hopefully that has solved all of your answers already. See you later. Hope you have a lovely weekend. Bye.